All right, guys, this is a second alarm fire in a water tower between two buildings. They got water on the fire. They're still stretching lines. They're putting water on it now. They got. It's right up there. It looks like it has slight extension. Alright, we're on six. I believe you're on five. If we had some extension on six, sprinklers put it out. We found an isolation valve. We shut down the sprinklers. I right, copy that. Do you need a hand line up there? I got 16. Negative. The windows mostly held. They only gave a little bit. Uh, just a slight extension, but like I said, the sprinklers put it out. That's cool. All right, it's up here above this area here. Let me go by the uh, command post. Battalion 105. All right, the water tower is up there on the top of this landing right here, right behind the air conditioning unit. They got water on the fire right now. It was in between the two buildings and it extended into the black building on the side. Command to the call seven. That's the call, okay. All right. You got somebody on command? Thank you. Uh, they got the main body knocked down, so they're just checking for additional extension right now. Yeah, 10-4, making my way down with uh, 7 roof now. Battalion 9, command to all units. All right, just so you know, exposure 2 as Battalion 7. The high-rise section, which is on left, is Battalion 6, and the roof section with the bank is Battalion 8. Command to Battalion 8. Phil. Uh, you got somebody on command? I need somebody on command. Ten four. Seven over here, seven over. Seven over. Where are you? I picked you up. I gotta get my saw on seven. All right, ten four, I'll get it. Glad to do it, command. Go ahead, Chris. Okay, can we hold up on all lines? I want to get up on this setback that's directly underneath the, uh... Yeah, check up that, uh, that surface, okay? Well, looks like we're in good shape up here. Uh, Alright, Chris, you know what? Just don't do anything right now. Alright, I'm still trying to coordinate units with lines inside, and we got to do a lot of searching, so... It looks like to me the fire's out. We're winning, correct? So just stand by. All right, that's Chief Corrado, Division 3. And he's, he's taking command of the team as he does instructing the uh, members on what they do and what not to do. Just uh, checking out the status of the setback directly below the involved material, okay? But, uh, there's no active planning. We're in good shape. Oh, I understand, Chris. Stand by on that. Thank you. All right, sorry for a uh, lack of better footage to see. And um, they still have units arriving on scene. I'm gonna try to push back and see if I see something on the other side, but there's not too much to see anyways from this vantage point because you would have to be higher up. And... Uh, so, uh, right there where the ladder is, there's uh, a tower, a water tower. Apparently the water tower was on fire and uh, it expanded to both sides, uh, 
the black building and the way and the beige building if you look up there you'll see some of those windows a little singed not, not too much and there was an extension into one of them on the fifth floor but this is the only access point in Vantage right now that I could tell. Hey, how are you, brother? Always a pleasure, always a pleasure. And the main body of fire has been knocked down. Uh, there was heavy, heavy traffic in Manhattan, as always. So uh, before we know, they're going to start winding down this this scene. And they're doing the searches, a lot of searches. I believe they're gonna have to search both buildings or at least a big portion of them. Uh, let's see uh, Chief Corrado in action over here. I'm just going to try to film some operations while we're here. They might have some ex extension into these buildings that we do not see to the naked eye it may be internal either way they need the manpower so they just transmitted the third alarm they also want an additional fast truck so that means that they put the uh, fast truck to work the one that's here right now, they just put it to work. Okay. 
They want all oh, third alarm units to report to the uh, stage in there. We got Phil from SEALCOM here, Rubio Division 3. <laughs> All right, and uh, I'm doing the uh, the operations because there's a uh, no visible fire right now and uh, smoke. They're not spraying, so and also um, a lot of moving parts. Put it that way. I believe they have two lines stretched, two lines in operation. Those are the two lines. Where are you exactly? We're in the uh, shorter building, just checking the stairs here. I'm in the stairs. Okay, I left my door on the roof. I'm gonna run up and grab it and let you go. Oh no, go get it. I'm nowhere near there. Thanks for the time, Mr. Man. All right, I'm going to go check out the third alarm units coming in. Here come the first third alarm unit. There's ladder 102. So I'm going to record some of the units coming in and see how many of them and which way they come. I don't know which way they're coming from. Hey right, guys. All right, how are you? Hey, Aaron. They're just taking a break. They're probably gonna go right back up. Let's see. Yeah, they're going back to work. There's got some kind of extension into there. You can't really see it. Uh. They did have originally extension in it, but there's something else that they uh, requested the third alarm for, like I said before. And uh, here comes another unit. First one from the third alarm was the uh, 102 ladder. <sighs> Can't see much from here either. And let's check out the units coming in a little bit. Battalion 45. I believe he's from Queens, but he's probably acting. How are you making out? He's still all clear, coming down now. Alright, come on. So far, I don't see much coming in. A lot of them are probably going to come in on 3rd Avenue. I'm not running all the way down there. Even though it's only one block, I'm just gonna stick around to see what's what. Right on, okay. Yeah, uh, you just said that we were going in as a fast truck to front car. That we're going straight to the incident, not the staging area, correct? Uh, stand by. My name is Phil Compton. Phil Compton. 
I hear some coming now. There comes something. That's the engine 23, battalion 32, an actor. Here comes some more of the third alarm units. So there you saw a few of the units coming in. Let's see if there's any more. So parking 39 is on that side, the staging area. So most of the third alarm units probably went over there. Their units are all running down all the streets to uh, Park Avenue, which is back there. I continue to monitor here. They continue to do an extensive overhauling in there up there i don't know now if it was a water tower or not i heard some kind of a roof structure i don't know what entirely it is but it was a fire up there regardless and uh they still have two lines stretched two lines in operation they're currently standing at a third alarm third alarm units were told to go to staging which is on on park avenue and uh 40th street Car 23 David responding to the third alarm. I came back over here because you can see a little of whatever it is that's going on up there in terms of overhauling, but not much. Responding to the third alarm. 
Okay, okay. fuel car. 775 by car 15 and return here on battalion 4 3 Sample, man of battalion 4 3 k uh, they had their air recon chief coming in on the helicopter, but they returned him. 8080 Yeah, 39 please. I'm gonna go poke around and see if there's anything else to see, but there really isn't anything else to see. Let's show some of the units, I guess. Uh, you got uh, your battalions all over the place, 9, 45. And uh, this is your EMS area here. They got mixed EMS here, NYU, Langone, FDNY, uh, Mount Sinai. Here's uh, the new fast truck coming in, replacing the other fast truck. They're going in. And then I'll go take a peek over there after. So, uh. Tony, we're on 3 9 and Lex. And Battalion 6 is wedged in over there. We got a couple more battalions. Uh. Here's uh, my friend Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. Yeah, well, you were in traffic. Yeah. No control over traffic. <laughs> Nicholas takes pictures. Great pictures. All right, they just released the rescue. They're coming back to the rig and they're gonna get out of here. I love everything to do with the rescue, so. The marshals just got here, they're coming in. is not here and I heard that it's on its way where the rack at it should be here soon uh, I'm gonna continue to do some uh, operational footage rescue taking up all right see you later uh, I'm gonna go back there after Shortly, here comes the rack manager. I'm not gonna say nothing, but I'm gonna, I wasn't gonna say where the rack at, but the rack should be coming soon. Must have been at another job or far away. Here we got a good one. Where the racks at? There the rack at. Rack two coming in. Uh, I don't know where the other one is. There should be another one somewhere, but there the rack at. Just coming in. They're gonna set up and start. Distributing, oh, they're the other rack hat. I missed it. They both came in at the same time. They're the rack hat. Rack one. And there went the other rack, rack two. She's gonna set up over there or she's gonna go around on the uh, third hour in the side. But they're the rack hat there. Up and ready to go. Cups are being distributed. Uh, Gatorade's gonna be distributed. Fuelcom is doing a. I uh, he said something about lines in operation. I missed it. But anyway. <laughs> Hold on, fuel uh, come.
Okay, the war. Minor extension to the high rise at 662 3 Avenue. R15. Assistant Chief Correa reports probably will hold. Okay, if you come actually completely confirmed it, it was a water tower on fire in between two buildings on the water towers on top of this three story building and it extended slightly into the other two buildings. Very slight extension. They've made that clear numerous numerous times. They're still uh spraying and I'll see if I can get a little bit of that up there and they will probably will hold which is a step below under control which will be very shortly and that's the water tower you can't really make it out but it's up there and they're hitting it I'm going to take a quick visit to the uh, command post and then we're going to be out of here. By the way, I was told it was knocked down very quickly, but they were very concerned, very concerned with the extension. All right, they're bringing the lines on. Uh, bringing the lines out rather uh, this is uh, engine 65 it looks like Post, we're gonna take up. They still got a lot of operations to go. is done for tonight it looks like they might have gone on the control but I didn't hear it on the radio you can't get everything what the 
It folds into that little thing, then they put the control in there, and they also put the batteries, I think, some of the, the spent batteries, or that the smaller one might be. Yeah, just one in the control, that's why they leave you. They take up. Field contest. setback was a roof tank. The roof tank holds the water to supply the sandpipe system. That was burning. That's made of wood. Uh, units arrived within three minutes, uh, verified that fire. The uh, truck companies entered the building, did their searches. Our engine companies came in, stretched their lines, put out the fire. Unfortunately, the roof tank did collapse. So right now, we don't have any concerns, the structural stability concerns. Uh, this was a third alarm. Uh, which brought about uh, 35 members, uh, about 35 pieces of apparatus. Uh, our uh, fire marshals are going to investigate uh, the cause of the fire right now, and thankfully there were no reports of uh, any injuries. It's not that water tank, it's the one on this building. So it's out of our view right now. No, it's actually the one that's in your view. Well, you can't see it now because it collapsed. But it's on the on the setback. This three store. This is one building. Three sixty nine legs behind us. Are you talking about this building or the black the black? No, this, this building right here. This, this is what caught on fire. And it collapsed. It did collapse. Any idea what went? I mean, it's a water. You said it was a water tank. Water uh, water. I really don't want to speculate. So right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna let uh, the marshals uh, investigate that, and they'll let us know what the cause was. Building and have to be evacuated for the foreseeable future. No, 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 no. Um, and I saw there was a bar, but nothing. No one had to be evacuated. No, well, again, I don't know if you can see, but there was some issues of fire uh, exposing this other high-rise office building. This is 39 stories and 622 lex. So we had to have units. It's, again, manpower intensive. I had to have units in all these buildings. We had to check all the stairwells, all the elevators, all the floors. So a very you know, hot day, had to have a lot of members here, and they did a great job as always. Did that, have, did that building have to be evacuated? No, no, again, office building, very few people inside, but, but we were here very quickly, letting the people know what was going on, and the, the members were taken care of. They were standing over here to the side, I wanted to see Anything else you want to add? Since it was 43. Yep, yep, well, they made it so They did the job. So. All right. Thanks so much. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. That was Chief Corrado giving an update to the media regarding the fire. We're gonna take up, all the chiefs are gonna take up, and uh, we're two and two, we're gonna see you all on the other side.